Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to take you through a quick introduction to Q message box and Q input box. This is relating to COS2614. I won't be showing any code today. I've already shown this video. This, um, okay. The second agenda I have is to preview of assignment one, question one for 2021. So the Q message box, you can go to the prescribed textbooks and introduction to design patterns in C++ with QT second edition and it shows you an example on page 34 in chapter 1. You can also find further information on the Q message box at the following two locations. And QT is inherited from Q dialog and this requires the Q make setting of QT plus equals widgets and requires the hash include Q message box. Okay. The same goes with the Q input box. Um, also on page 34 you can find the information and an example of it. You can also find further information from the links below or here. And then um, also uh, it, the, it requires the QT to have the plus equals widgets and it also needs to include a Q input box. Alright, so let's go and have a look. So I've made a very simple program. Uh, I've, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, this is it over here. I don't think I can make it any bigger. Um, but as you can see it's asking here um, please enter the temperature in degrees Celsius so if I go and enter 25 degrees click on OK you can see it comes up with 77 and so you can always go and verify that calculation by going to our friend Google and then if you put their degrees to Fahrenheit you uh, put in 25 and you can see it comes up with 77 and it shows you the formula how it's done it. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful and a bit informative. Um, yeah, enjoy QT and this module, COS2614. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.